Hi, today I want to show you another mind-blowing and immediately usable application of ChatGPT to the realm of what investment bankers and finance professionals do every day. So just as a reminder, a few months ago, I posted how ChatGPT can already, if you prompt it like a managing director asking for work product from ChatGPT as if it's a junior banker, it'll actually spit out pretty incredible results. So this time, the mind-blowing application is actually creating your very own Excel plugin. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, you don't need to know any code, but I'm going to show you how using ChatGPT and a little bit of thoughtful prompting, you can create for yourself and for your peers if you're on the job, a productivity tool that significantly increases your productivity day to day on the job and how you build financial models. So this is another sort of step change in what this thing can do. We've heard obviously tons in the news, or many of you have probably heard about how AI and ChatGPT can disrupt either improve productivity or eliminate jobs. These are sort of the big, the big debates about where it's going. I'm gonna show you an example of a very real application that anyone can employ right now on the job as bankers, or really anyone who's doing any sort of financial analysis to make their jobs much more productive spend way less time doing the same amount of work. So uh, let's get into it. So here, I'm just gonna, before I get into ChatGPT, I'll show you what we're going for here. Here's a very simple Excel um, analysis. I've got a company's income statement. These are all fake numbers. Um, you know, a company's income statement revenue all the way down to EBITDA. And then I'm showing a whole bunch of historical, you know, gross profit margin, revenue growth, uh, figures EBITDA margin, and then forecast for the future. Now this is unformatted, so you can't really tell what's ha what's happening, that these are historicals. These are usually, you can see the revenue here, for example, is a hard-coded number, but in the future, it's a forecast, right? So this is very consistent with a typical investment banking best practice in that you want these to be blue, you want these to be black, anything that's a calculation is black, anything that's a historic, that's, um, that's a hard-coded input, like a constant, is blue. I've also got some references to other worksheets. I've got another worksheet here and it's pulling data from there. That should be formatted green. If you ever reference to another workbook entirely, not recommended, that should be red. So there's a whole bunch of sort of best practices in formatting in finance. And we're gonna use ChatGPT to basically create a plugin where you just create a shortcut and it does it automatically for you. Again, the only way to do that right now is if you know how to write code in VBA or you know how to write code in another language or you just ponied up and bought some software that does it for you. That's Those are kind of the, the three options that exist today. Not anymore. Now you can just prompt ChatGPT to create an add-in for you entirely from scratch with exactly the shortcuts that you want. The hardest part here, as you'll see, is actually prompting, thinking logically about what it is that you want and figuring out a way to communicate it so that ChatGPT doesn't make too many mistakes. That's the hard part. It's not coding anymore. So. Um, the other bit here is that you'll see that I've got my numbers formatted kind of weirdly. Some are have multiple decimal places, some have negative numbers, and in finance we like parentheses, not negatives, um, to represent negative numbers. We don't want that minus sign. So I'm gonna create a shortcut that cycles through a whole bunch of different fonts or different um, format cycles um, that, again, I could use a shortcut to invoke and get it done beautifully in, in, in a matter of seconds. So I'm gonna create two shortcuts, one that auto colors based on the nature of the cell, the other one is a, is a format cycle, okay? Once we show you how to do this, you can actually take this code, I'll share it in the, uh, in the post, and you can actually just continue to build additional shortcuts as you see fit by just prompting chat GPT. So, I, so that you're not sitting here while I'm typing, I've already typed out the prompt. So I'm gonna read this to you just so you understand what the prompt mechanics have to be like and just how clearly I'm, I'm expressing this. Otherwise, ChatGPT will make mistakes. So if you just kind of said, you know, create a shortcut that uh, makes everything blue when it's supposed to be, it just won't understand it. You gotta be really explicit. So show me step-by-step step how to create an Excel add-in in VBA that assigns the following Excel keyboard shortcuts to the following actions. Shortcut one, control alt A. Action one, when the shortcut is invoked, Excel will apply blue fonts to constants that are numbers. Right? I don't want this applying to my text. Black font to formulas that are numbers. Green font to any worksheet reference. Red font to any workbook reference. Fine, clear enough. Shortcut two, control shift one, when the shortcut is invoked on a selected range, Excel will apply the following format. 
This is Excel syntax for formatting. If anyone's confused about this, we cover this a lot in our courses, there is a language in Excel for um, format. So if I go in here, for example, let me, got some legacy blue in here from prior work. If I go in here and I wanna use an Excel, I wanna apply a custom format in Excel, there's a certain syntax that Excel understands. And this is the easiest way. If I wanna make, if I wanna have multiple decimal places, I have to put it, when, put it in here. There's a whole spacing thing that keeps numbers aligned and spaced correctly, positive versus negative, right? You have to know that that's an Excel thing. That's not a coding thing. Um, you could try to explain it to ChatGPT verbally, but this syntax ensures that ChatGPT won't make any mistakes. So this is the custom format I want for the first number in the cycle. Then while holding down control shift, if the user hits one again, it'll give me a different format. Now it's one decimal versus two decimals. Here it's no decimals. Then if the user hits one again, I want a good parentheses format, um, a percentage format. And then if the user hits one again, the current format will be replaced with the original format. So it's a four format cycle. I can add as many as I want here. I chose my four most commonly used ones. The last bit of instructions I'm gonna give is I want the add-in to open every time I open Excel and the shortcuts to be available as soon as the workbook is open and remain active until it's closed. I want this always available. I'm telling ChatGPT, please ask any clarifying questions that will help you in creating this add-in. In the code, include comments explaining what's happening. I'd actually like to learn some VBA, so I'm asking for those instructions. And that's generally good practice if you're debugging. So I'm going to, I'm going to like, copy and paste this in, and let's see what it spits out. All right, so let's see what ChatGPT came up with. We're gonna follow this, these instructions to the letter and um, we're gonna hope for the best here. So first of all, I'm gonna close this window and reopen Excel so it's, so it's fresh as it, as it wants me to. All right, so now I've opened Excel and I wanna open the VBA editor. It's giving me the shortcut Alt plus F11. Open it up. Now I wanna right click on any of the objects in the Project Explorer. Here's the Project Explorer. Let's right click on this one insert module all right so now this is where the code's going to go i'm going to write the code you can see it's it's created a whole bunch of code i can copy it and paste it in um, let's see if it followed my instructions to comment everything yes this procedure runs the uh, when the workbook opens so that's the looks like it's it's telling it to sort of apply shortcut keys to the functions that it's creating and and here are the functions so font co apply font colors is control alt a and uh, apply number formats is Control shift one again. I don't need to know any of this code, but I like to just generally have a basic understanding of what's happening. I copied it, I pasted it. Now save the workbook as an add-in. So save your file by going to file, save as, file, I've got save, let's go with that. And now it's asking me to save it as an Excel add-in. Right now, the default is Excel workbooks. So you gotta be careful, you're following instructions. Excel add-in. Oh, notice it actually, it defaults directly to where the Excel add-ins are. That's great, that's ultimately where I wanna do it anyways. You don't need to, it'll kinda guide you to it. But it already defaulted to Excel to this folder path. I was gonna send it, save it in my desktop, but it put it in the right place for me. Otherwise, it'll t tell you how to do it here. As you'll see in a second, chat GPT shortcuts. You'll see I've got a couple of other pre uh, pre test before I shot this video. I'm gonna save it here and now it's saved. And now I'm gonna install and activate the add-in. So I'm gonna go to file. So let me just close this up. I'm gonna go to file options add-in. Okay, file options add-ins. All right, click go. And it should be here because I put it in the right folder. ChatGPT shortcuts, I think that's what I named it. Otherwise, it would have had you click browse. So this is where it doesn't actually matter where you saved it because it still would have told you how to get to, if you saved it on your desktop, you would have clicked browse. Here, I'll show you again in case that was too quick. Once you open this up, you, you would have just clicked browse and found it. Because I put it in the right folder by default, it automatically found it, otherwise you just gotta go through the steps here. So it's still giving the right instructions. 
your add-in should now automatically load each time you open Excel and the keyboard shortcuts will be active. Let's see if that's true. So we're gonna try this now. I'm gonna restart Excel, just to be safe. All right, so I'm actually gonna just open up the simple income statement because I've already done the work here. So hold my breath here. Let's see if this works. I'm going to apply Control-Alt-A on the cell. So if this works, it should be able to tell what's a blue cell versus what's a calculation and format it accordingly. Look at that, it did it. Now let me see if it actually followed my instructions. I very specifically wanted it to not do that on text, only on numbers. Remember, that's why I actually put in only on constants that are numbers, only on formulas that are yield numbers. Let's try this here. All right, it followed my restrictions. I just hit Control Alt A, it didn't work. It didn't apply it there. So now let me also get the worksheet references. Let me just apply the whole thing. Control Alt A. It worked. Unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. So uh, now let me apply the other shortcut. See if that one worked. So I'm going to toggle through. I want these number formats to be one decimal. So I'm going to hit Control Shift 1. Look at that. It formatted every. I'm going to keep hitting 1, so, cycle through all of the different shortcuts, and it works. This is just unbelievable. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the same thing with the percentages here. I want control shift one to go through and it got to my percentage. And in a matter of seconds, I have built an Excel plugin, which is, again, just completely mind blowing what ChatGPT can do. Your imagination is the only constraint on what this thing can do for you in terms of improving your productivity. And this isn't five years from now. It's not a year from now, it is today. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're as excited about what this means. Again, maybe also terrified about what this means as I am, but the sky's the limit. If anyone here wants to add, add on to this, no pun intended, um, add other shortcuts, create an incredible productivity toolkit, share it in the, share it in the comments. And if there's something completely awesome in here, I'll make a video about it showing the work that you've done. This is really, really cool, incredible stuff.